Man, I cannot wait for WWE to build up the epic WrestleMania match between Roman Reigns and The Rock one-on-one. -on -one. But the whole build is just Roman Reigns staring down Shinsuke Nakamura, Roman Reigns and the Usos punching Nakamura just to build up WrestleMania backlash. Bro, I can't wait. I, I, I cannot wait. You know, like, do you know how ridiculous that sounds? And that right there is what they're doing right now. Roman Reigns and John Cena. Okay, Tribal Chief Roman Reigns and Classic Babyface John Cena. The biggest wrestling star versus star, like, dream match of sorts since Once in a Lifetime is Rock and Cena. The genuinely the biggest one-on-one -on -one big star, big star match. And what's the build? The build is Finn, Fergal, Devitt, Balor involved in near enough every segment because, well, he's Finn Balor. That's really the best explanation I've been told. Oh, well, Finn Balor never got his rightful run as Universal Champion five years ago. Therefore, it makes logical sense now that they're hijacking the entire Reigns and Cena build for that. Like, I've seen a bunch of different stuff with this, and I, I want to make this video just to kind of, I guess, uh, just give my take on this, because a lot of this is so ridiculous. It really is. It seriously is. I mean, you've got Roman Reigns and John Cena... Two guys who, yeah, I get it. Oh, the match sells itself. Of course the match sells itself. It's Reigns and Cena. But give us as fans some stuff to hold on to. Give us some parts of the build to look forward to and look back upon with reverence five years from now. Give kids growing up nowadays who just badly want to see Reigns and Cena, two icons clashing, give them some memories. L let there be something. Have Roman Reigns and Cena have a rap battle segment. Have them do a contract signing segment where you run it back. Have them do a segment where they're just face to face in the ring, just jawing one on one with each other. Just, there's so much potential stuff you can do. The build was going along fine, okay? It really was. Roman Reigns retained Money in the Bank over Edge. They had the stuff with Seth Rollins in there. Reigns retained. Awesome. John Cena made his return. Thunderous reaction. How much that was supposedly piped in. I don't know, I'm not going to comment, but nonetheless, it was an epic moment. The Cena return was incredible. I, I made the whole video wrestling as alive, mainly because of that return. It was epic. So, Cena return, Cena vs. Reigns, oh my god, oh my god. Cena comes out on Raw the next night, cuts a really good, like, six or so minute promo about Reigns, being entitled, being a joke, what have you. Awesome. And then you get Riddle out there, and you've got Cena and Riddle doing a bro-off. Okay, so th there was that, and then you had SmackDown, Cena was out there on SmackDown, and he, he challenged Roman Reigns, and then at the end of the night, Roman Reigns said, well, no, um, I'd rather fight uh, Fergal Devitt instead, so that happened, um, and then the next week, I mean, we had Cena out there, and Baron Corbin was all involved, and then there was a contract signing with Reigns and Balor, and then Corbin got involved, and then Cena's there, and Cena writes his name on the contract and signs it instead, and that leads us into the next week where we've got Cena nowhere in sight, and we've got Finn Balor and Roman Reigns punching each other, or Balor trying to punch Reigns as though Balor's fighting Reigns one-on-one at SummerSlam, and Balor's fighting off Usos. Like, like, I'm watching this segment as Finn Balor's punching Jimmy and Jay Uso, hitting a suicide dive onto them, and then Reigns has to rely on a 3-on-1 beatdown to take down Fergal Devon. I'm thinking to myself, what are we building towards here? Now, I tweeted this out saying, why WWE building towards their Extreme Rules main event in September as opposed to their SummerSlam main event between Reigns and Cena? And what people were telling me was, well... Oh, well, it, like, the scene of us Reigns sells itself. It, it, WB are doing good business by building up towards Balor versus Reigns at Extreme Rules. That's good business. Okay, let's, let's unpack this for a moment. Let's go back to WrestleMania 17. Rock versus Austin. you got two true megastars in their prime going out at one-on-one. -on -one. This is like saying, let's take what they're doing now with Finn Balor, Cena, and Reigns. Let's bring that back to WrestleMania 17. You've got Austin and Rock. Let's say during the build, instead of us getting epic Austin and Rock promos, Austin and Rock segments, Austin and Rock face-offs, Austin and Rock getting physical, instead of doing that with Austin and Rock, let's have Steve Austin confronting Dean Malenko every week. 
because Dean Malenko is a great, talented worker who wrestled all over the world, who deserves his chance, damn it. Let's build up to Austin versus Dean Malenko at Backlash, as opposed to Austin versus Rock at WrestleMania. Let's not create the segments and the moments that would give us the My Way video package. Stuff that. Who needs that? The match sells itself. Let's build up to a random Backlash pay-per-view a month later. What? Huh? Really? It's the same thing as, let's look at Once in a Lifetime. Rock, Cena. Truly epic. Okay, you've got Rock and Cena, Once in a Lifetime, WrestleMania 28. Let's take that. And instead of us getting, you know, The Rock in Boston throwing Cena gnomes into a river, The Rock disrespecting Boston, Cena coming out there as the Doctor of Thugonomics, dropping raps about The Rock, having Cena and Rock face-to-face -face in segments, epic video packages, Let's forget that. Let's just not do that in 2012. Let's instead build up Cena vs. Dolph Ziggler for Extreme Rules. Because Dolph Ziggler deserves better. Let's have Dolph Ziggler every week in the build confronting Cena. Let's barely mention The Rock. Let's keep The Rock off TV. Or let's have The Rock wrestle dark matches at these random Raw episodes so we can build up Cena vs. Ziggler at Extreme Rules. You see my point at this? Okay, like, this shouldn't be too hard to fathom, but WWE have somehow taken... A storyline and just a match that builds itself up effortlessly. Legitimately, a four-year-old with no IQ of wrestling could build this up. Have the two guys confront each other. Have them punch each other one week. Have a rap battle. Have a contract signing. Have Cena on Raw didn't you, talking about Roman Reigns. Have Roman Reigns going on Good Morning America, dissing Cena, calling him a bum and a failed movie star. Like, have all this stuff. It's so easy. It's, it's, it's effortless, okay? The best thing we've got in the build in reality is Paul Heyman mocking Cena's entrance theme on that one SmackDown. Like, that was, that's it, dude. In, in, instead, we've got Cena wrestling dark matches in six-man tags with the Mysterios against the Bloodline. Meanwhile, in SmackDown, we're getting Roman Reigns, Jay Uso, and Jimmy Uso having to come as a collective team to punch a five-foot-eight man. Like, really? Is, is this it really, dude? Like, like, God forbid! I th this style of booking they did this with the Daniel Bryan stuff. You take Reigns versus Edge, a one-on-one -on -one match that near enough everyone was excited for, and then you you intertwine Bryan, you make the build all convoluted and messy and sticky. It like when, when inevitably they do this with Reigns and Rock. God forbid, dude, because this is twice now. You had Reigns and Edge. You shove Brian in there just because you can. Now you're doing Ray and Cena. You shove Balor in there. N now what? Where to from here? When we get Reigns vs. Rock at WrestleMania 38, you're going to shove Nakamura in there? You you're going to shove Reigns' WrestleMania Backlash opponent in there to really muddle up the build? Is that what you're going to do? Or, God forbid, come SummerSlam next year, when we're getting Reigns vs. Brock Lesnar, and Lesnar's avenging Paul Heyman and all this kind of stuff. Instead of doing Reigns vs. Brock build for a match we genuinely want to see, you're strutting out Ricochet, or whoever whoever's still employed by that point in a year's time. Like, really, dude? Really? I mean, I'm just gonna hold the video there. That's been the video. This video's been how to not build up a dream match featuring WWE. This thing's been ridiculous, dude. I just... The thing is, people are telling me, you know, oh, see where it goes, yada yada. Why is this a see where it goes situation? It should just be Reigns, Cena, promo off. Reigns, Cena, diss track. Rain Cena. Contract signing. Rain Cena brawl. There's your build, Chief. Not hard, but... No, nah, instead get Fergal Devitt and the name of the contract said this and Corbin's involved and, and Cena wrote his name on the contract and Reigns is trying to fight out this match with Cena and Cena's cutting this promo and missionary and like... Bruh. Like, the stuff in the missionary was the best part of this whole build as well as, as, well as Heyman, so... That's gonna be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and drill.